Matthew 7, and uh, starting in verse 21. This is a public presentation by the Lord Jesus Christ himself, and he says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. That's a verse, if you forget everything else I say to you, you ought to think about that for a long time. Do you know what the mark of a believer is? That there's an internal change inside of them where we want to do God's will. We don't do it perfectly, we don't do it completely, we don't do it uh, you know, constantly, but boy, I want to do his will. Every morning, this morning at 5.01, feet hit the ground, I said, Lord, I want to do your will today. That's part of the DNA of a believer. But Jesus didn't stop there. Many will say to me, verse 22 of Matthew 7, in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Have we not cast out demons in your name? Haven't we done signs and wonders in your name? Now Jesus is talking. It's all red. So he's not exaggerating. He's actually saying there is a day coming because, see, he knows the end from the beginning. And he already has seen this happening. And he said, there's going to be this whole group in front of me that are going to say, we were doing all of verse 22. And Jesus says in verse 23, then I will declare to them. He doesn't say, you didn't do that. All he says is, it's kind of like an implied, "Uh uh-huh. Yeah, you did prophesy. Mm -hmm. You did cast out demons. Mm -hmm. You did do wonders. Did you know the false prophet is going to do signs and wonders during the tribulation? The Antichrist has a right-hand man who can call down fire from heaven. That's why they believe in the Antichrist. The Antichrist will go, hit it. And the guy will go, okay. And he actually can command fire from heaven. Satan can bring fire from heaven. Remember, he's the god of this world. He's the prince of the power of the air. He actually has tornadoes and hurricanes and a lot of things under his control. God limits him, but he has amazing power. Satan's the most powerful created being in the universe. That's why Michael, the head of the armies of heaven, would not publicly rebuke Satan, Jude tells us. Michael said, the Lord rebuke you. I can't. Now, why am I saying that? Because there are people that can do signs and wonders that are not even Christians. Because Satan can deceive. And if people want signs and wonders, he'll have someone do them. Jesus, signs and wonders never save people. They confirm faith. They didn't cause faith. So these people say, we did all this stuff. And then I will declare to them, verse 23, "Mm, yeah, but I never knew you. Remember the four worst words that we never want to hear. Look at the end of the verse. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Do you know what the whole book of 1 John is about? No one who's born again persists in sin. We still sin. I still sin. I am the worst sinner I know in the whole world. See, I don't know you. I don't know how much you know. I don't know why you do what you do. But I do know me, and I know how much I know and I know what I do. So I'm the worst sinner I know personally in the whole world. You know why I say that? Because Paul said he was the chiefest. So it means all of us should think we're the worst because we know ourselves and we know everything that no one else knows. But I don't practice lawlessness. I hate sin. I still sin. I hate it. I don't want to. I don't enjoy it. I don't feed on it. I don't plan it. I don't long for it. Jesus said, watch out. The pathway that leads to death is only professing Jesus, not possessing him. Remember, most people in America are going to miss heaven by 18 inches. The distance between a conscious choice and a mental assent and affirmation.